So for the flight from Regensburg down to Dagendorf, start by filling in with the information that's been given. The departure time is 10 o'clock. The wind velocity 050, 30 knots. The true airspeed of 200 knots. And the departure from Regensburg, Echo Delta, November, Romeo. To Dagendorf, Echo Delta, Mike Whiskey. Draw a line on for the track from Regensburg to Dagendorf. And lining up a protractor on a local meridian measured from mid track, read off 120 degrees true. using dividers to pick off the distance. Taking the dividers to the scale on the chart, read off 36 nautical miles. You can now fill in the nav log with a track of 120 and a distance of 36 nautical miles. Using the CRP5, draw on the wind of 050, count down 30 knots, and rotate the inner scale so the track of 120 is at the top. With a true airspeed of 200 knots under the centre dot. The wind cross has moved to the right and is showing 8 degrees of starboard drift. Move the 120 degrees to 8 degrees of starboard drift. And note that 8 degrees at the top is drift balance down here with 8 degrees. The heading is 112 and the ground speed is 190 knots. So enter the heading true of 112. Look up the variation from the chart. One degree east. resulting in a heading magnetic of 111. The ground speed from the CRP5 was 190. And for a distance of 36 nautical miles, dividing that by a ground speed of 190, you get 11 minutes. And adding that to the departure time of 10 o'clock, you get an estimated time of arrival of 11 minutes past 10.